Welcome to the next show, WWE 2K18 video. This video here, basically, we're going to do something different for WCW Women's Pro Wrestling on 2K18. Um, if you watched my last uh, live stream video, there was, I made a lot of changes um, from 2K19, which I, I mean, I, you know, did create a lot of wrestlers, and also... Um, 2K18 as well. Um, well, I'm going to basically do um, something a little bit different with 2K18. It's going to be new wrestlers and new stories. Um, I rewatched one of my last year video, and basically there were some words that I mentioned in the video that basically pinched a nerve. Where I mentioned that I'm not going to bring any wrestlers that I had from 2K18 over to 2K19. Uh, well... In this video, I'm going to explain a whole lot of what I'm going to do with 2K19, also 2K18, moving forward into basically making videos on this channel here. I'm going to put out a disclaimer, and this is going to be brief. I am not, and I repeat, I am not going to um, promote anybody's wrestlers from any channel. I've, I, I mentioned this already in the live stream, but I'm going to mention it here on 2K18. I'm going in a whole different direction for 2K19, I mean, for uh, 2019 year. Um, whatever I did, man, in 2K18, is going to stay in 2K18. Um, I'm not going to basically air any more of whatever, whoever wrestler it is. I'm going to stay with my own creations, my own wrestlers. And I'm going to basically stay with WWE and N NXT, 205 Live, and whatever like that for this channel moving forward. I am not, and I repeat, I do not, um, steal wrestlers. I don't freaking create, recreate wrestlers. You know, and try to basically use their name. I'm not doing that. So I basically create my own wrestlers. These wrestlers you're not going to find on community creations. So any wrestler, man, that you saw when I uploaded a video on the final roster reveal uh, for WWE 2K18 for WCW Women's Wrestling, all those CAW wrestlers that are in that particular assigned in WCW Women's Wrestling, I created all of them. So. And also moving forward with 2K19, uh, I'm going to let you know if I created the wrestler. Now, there are some wrestlers that I downloaded, but I'm going to let you know right now. The wrestlers that I downloaded 2K19 are going to be WWE, NXT, and Impact. There's not going to be anything like outside of what's going on out there. I don't care anymore. I'm not supporting anybody anymore. Uh, I'm not basically doing no sub on sub. I don't even, I'm not, I ain't doing it no more anyway. I haven't done it in a while. Um, now, I do like pro wrestling. I do WWE stuff. Now, if you do have that, and if you want to basically help your channel, whatever like that, maybe I'll do that. But as of right now, I'm not doing it at, at the moment. So, another thing that I want to mention before I get into this actual um, uh, champion versus champion match, and also looking at these new stories and looking at these new wrestlers, and letting you know which wrestler is going to be in 2K19 and which wrestler is not going to be in 2K19. If you follow me on this channel, if you do, I mean, that's great. If you don't, then, then you're missing out. So, I mentioned something towards the end of the live stream on the Impact uh, Women's Wrestling show, and pretty much it was about how people can actually uh, take your wrestlers um, while you're, you know, having them out there community creation. There's a reason why I don't share or upload my content on community creations. And before we start this match, I'm going to show you what people are doing and what people sh and what people should be doing moving forward if you have a wrestler that you have upload right now. So I'm going to back out of this. We're going to do this all in the live stream. I, I, remember, I don't, when it comes to live streams, I don't edit anything. I'm, I'm going to let you know what I'm doing in an actual game and basically what's going on. And also, I'm going to show you, man, that um, that if a person is creating, if a person is creating wrestlers. Um, how can they? How, how do they upload them? I mean, if you're st if you're basically stealing a wrestler, there's no way you can upload a wrestler, man, through community creation. Now, if you create your own wrestler, it's going to show right here in this up upload list. You go to your uploads, and basically to you know to to show you proof that I create all my wrestlers, I'm gonna go right here. Now, these are the wrestlers right here that I created on 2K18, and if I took a wrestler or if I copied a wrestler, how can I upload a wrestler if 
a wrestler, if a person that has put out a wrestler on community creations says no for not re-upload. This is where I'm going to actually educate you, uh, you know, the viewers that's watching this video, on what it means to basically upload a wrestler or give permission or or upload a wrestler to have permission or not. So, we're going to go to, uh, these are all the wrestlers that I, that I made on 2K18. As you can see, it's just going down the list. I'm, I'm going to be very brief. I'm not going to say any names. Just look at these wrestlers closely because I created all these wrestlers on 2K18. And I've been, and I've been doing this since 2K16. Um, I just don't share my content on communications because it's so screwed up right now because people can actually take your content and i'm going to show you in this video how they can take your content and i mean all these wrestlers i created so we're going to hand pick a wrestler and i'm going to pick my favorite wrestler raven because raven is one of my rest one of my characters i created on gta i've used raven all the time man from wrestling to to uh fallout to gta to um to any game that basically that that i use so i mean she's gonna be the focal point of this test now when you uh when you upload an actual wrestler basically it's gonna show you the front and the rear of what what the rest look in the front to the back it's gonna show you that basically the move list you did the victory and did the entry now there are some areas where People are lazy out there, community creations. They'll have a move list, but no victory. They'll have a move list, but no entry, but they have a victory. But they have a move list and an entry. But then they have, sometimes they create a wrestler, they have nothing on it. All they have is basically is a, is a, is a, is a standard thing. Now, when you go to your uploads, now, here's where it says, basically, you say, can you can be up can be re-uploaded. Now, basically, can be re-uploaded means that if you select... No, meaning that when, when you put it out there, community creations, you have basically, you're giving no permission to have somebody re-upload the wrestler that you created on, on, on your own universe or your own account. So when you put it out there, you want to say no and then put down your hashtag or in your description if you want to. Now, what I've been noticing is that basically people are switching it from no to yes. This is a mistake because if you switch this from no to yes, if you know what you're doing, you're giving people that, that can't create content, that can't create anything. What they'll do is they'll take your wrestler if it says yes or, you know, in the community creations. And I, I, I've already did my research on 2K19 and 18 and whatever like that. I just been keeping it within my own camp because now it's getting to a point where people are actually stealing people's wrestlers. Yes, they can steal a tire because there is a feature in the game, and I'm going to show you that as well. That basically they can steal your tire if you do select no for your re-upload. Yeah, you, you you can download the wrestler. Yes, because technically it's out there. If you download the wrestler, they can still take your tire. So when you upload your wrestlers into community curations and no matter if you push yet, no or yes they're going to find a way to download your wrestler and now if you put yes they can change the whole wrestler they can basically say oh yeah man this ain't raven anymore this is like um like jane doe or something they will use the same exact attire same exact look and then they'll basically change the name and say oh yeah this is basically jane doe or they will steal this wrestler and say, "Yeah, I created the Raven, or I created a a um a let's say um, a Zoe, or I created a Madison, or I created a Black Widow, or I created like an Akane Suzuki." Just name, just name a few. I don't, I don't want to, you know, go into it too much, but they could say that, and basically that's what caused the conflict. Be like, I created it. No, I created it first. But here's the thing: you selected yes. That's your fault. So. If you're planning on sharing your content, you know, to make a long story short, if you're planning on sharing your content, please always select no, because that way nobody can change your wrestler or steal it. The only way they'll be able to do it, and I'm going to show you this while, while we're, you know, in, in this topic. Because, I mean, I'm here to basically to, to, you know, be the voice of reason. And it's just really hard to see people, man, do, you know, do good work on certain content you know, create good wrestlers, and all of a sudden, you know, their, their stuff gets stolen, and then, and the reason why they doing it is because of the fact that they want to unlock their silver, their gold, their platinum, you see the little trophy, little slots, that's what they're doing it for, I mean, it's just not right how, you know, thing, 
things go south. So I'm gonna show you a wrestler that I created. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's go with Harley. No. Um. Let's go. Let's go with Jessica Havoc. So I mean, and this is how they can basically steal your attire. I mean, technically you could put down no for your re-uploads. Basically, you're not giving them permission to you know re-upload it. That's all it is. Now, here's a feature in this game that's also is in 2K. You know. Uh, 19 as well. You see where it says basically import your attire. I, I don't know. I don't know why basically you know 2K Sports put this in there, but they'll find a way to steal your your attire. You can always go to custom and go to base. Don't go to all parts because what's going to do is it's going to override your whole wrestler. Let's say if you start from scratch, and basically they'll take the whole wrestler and they'll bring it over without you without you even knowing about it. And then basically you go over there and then basically you can pick any of these wrestlers and basically put like. Let's take, uh, let's take, for instance, Luna Pashan, for, for instance, you know, rest in peace for her. And basically going to say, when you import a selected, it's like all the other data of the thing is going to be currently overwritten. So if you want to proceed, you say yes, and if you do, you say no. Basically, I'm going to say no because I don't want, I, I don't want it to override it because hey, I put a lot of work into Jessica Habit. So it basically is telling you that. It's going to take Luna Facade attire, and it's going to put it on Jessica Havoc. That's all it is. And I don't know why they put that in the game, but they put it in the game for a reason. So, so just to clear things up. Now, you notice that, like, like CM Punk, he wasn't on the list because somebody said there was no for re-uploads. When you download it, here's an example, CM Punk. If, if somebody basically, I, I got this from community creations, so CM Punk, like, like Bully Ray, or in Austin Aries, the people that created these wrestlers, they put down no for re-upload, meaning that you can't change the wrestler, you can't freaking re-upload the wrestler, and everything stays the same. Like Gangrel, like for instance, The Great Muta, I mean, D, D. Malenko, just name a few. Uh, I go on the women's side and put down Ashley. That was one I, I downloaded. Bull Nakano. That's the one I downloaded. Just name a few. Uh, Eve Torres. So if, if if you see no on the thing, that means you can't freaking change anything unless you decide to create a whole new wrestler and do it. But that takes a lot of work. So that's what I came across um, when I was messing around with 18 and 19 so yeah there is a way that people can steal your wrestlers just make sure that you're switching keeping in that no if you're planning on sharing your content that's just a you know that's just a my experience so okay on to the actual um match card that we have for wcw women's wrestling for today um if you if you like what you see so far in these in this particular um videos or whatever what i'm doing you know just subscribe i mean i don't care about comments i mean i mean comments is cool but i mean likes and dislikes i don't even care because people are going to basically hate and people are going to basically uh support it or not like that it's, it's, it's your call but um it is what it is i do this for free i'm not doing this for the money uh i just like making content i say this in my videos all the time and i'll let you know if i create the wrestler or i download the wrestler or something like that because i don't steal wrestlers as i said before <clears throat> So, I just, you know, do my thing and, and go from there. So, moving forward and new stories and new wrestlers. We got, right now, basically the current WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Nakane Suzuki, is going up against a former uh, World Heavyweight Champion. And, what's her name? Cap. Is it uh, Kathleen Walker? No, not Kathleen Walker. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, Cynthia Walker. Oh my gosh, yeah, Cynthia Walker. Yeah, she hasn't wrestled in a while. That's why I didn't re I didn't recognize her at first. She didn't wrestle. She hasn't wrestled in a while. So, I mean, she's been uh, out of action for a little bit on Universe Mode. So I threw her in there because she's a former champion, and Akane Suzuki has not faced Cynthia Walker. So. Next match we got basically WCW uh, Women's Champion and Paige is going up against a new wrestler that I created in uh, Amanda Woods. That'll be our next match. Our third match is going to be uh, the Television Champion and Marlena is going up against a former ECW World Heavyweight Champion in Harley Quinn. And the current 
hardcore champion in WCW is Cassidy Fox going up against a former United States champion in Piper. And we got, two, uh, of course, we got Asuka, of course, from WWE. She's going to go up against Jessica Kimberly. And champion versus champion. We got the World Tag Team Champions in the Pit Bulls in Jordan Taylor and Michelle Ramirez. We'll go up against the Outlaws in Jasmine and Zoe of the Women's. They are the Women's Tag Team Champions. And then our main event is going to be a champion versus champion match. Basically, it's going to begin have. I mean, basically, it's going to be the United States Champion and the Monster Charlotte Perez will go up against the Cruiserweight Champion and. So, uh, Sophia Garcia. Let's get on to this particular match card. Yeah, I decided to uh, throw these matches in there just because. I mean, just moving forward, just changing the stories. New beginnings. Some fresh. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Coming to you live from ringside, where I can barely hear myself think. We got one of the best lineups in WWE history. So stay tuned. I look at this card and my mouth starts to water. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Let's get this party started. You no, know, basically we got, you know, the World Heavy the World Heavyweight Champion right now is the face of the company and Connie Suzuki. We're gonna place the former champion of Cynthia Walker. Now, we already know what Connie Suzuki can, can do. We know she has a really good resume if you did follow my previous live streams. So but with the story man with WCW, she she was a barefoot wrestler. Now she was signed on Mayhem Rimmers Wrestling. The only way she basically came over to WCW she wanted to face the the former champion, or, you know, basically she's not no longer a man in WCW, that'd be Evelyn Smith. After 91 days, uh, Kane Suzuki basically became a new champion, and then when Evelyn Smith went to the backstage area, man, thinking everything was cool, she got her ass beat up by 10 to 12 people from the WCW roster and threw her ass out of the building. Oh, that was freaking awesome to see that in an actual live event so to move forward basically i mean uh akana suzuki is going to be the face of the company now and she's also in 2k19 so i mean i said before i'm moving forward with uh what's going on with the actual uh my channel and then basically the former champion man she's facing is cynthia walker cynthia walker is the longest reigning champion right now at 252 days um, she beat Michelle Moreras, and then she lost her title to uh, Madison Starr. Madison Starr has been released as well. Um, it was, as I said before, I released a lot of people, man, WCW. If you did not see the roster reveal, tune into that. I will put it in the description below. Uh, Cynthia Walker, basically, as I said before, she um, was at Ring, Ring of Honor. I created her first in 2K16. Um, she held, I think she was, she held one of the titles. Can't remember which one. But they never faced each other. Not going to play these matches. I just want to see if, you know, how everything goes. So let's, let's get started with this match. Making her way to the ring from Hong Kong, China, 
I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Corey, I would say that these women look more than ready to get this match underway. So am I, Cole. In fact, I've been looking forward to this one ever since it got announced. From Atlanta, Georgia, Cynthia Walker. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. And Byron, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in proving which competitor is the premier force in the women's locker room. And because of that, Michael, I'm willing to bet all the other women are surrounding the monitors in the back right now, getting ready for this one. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. And given the athleticism of these women, this one promises to be can't miss. I promise you guys, this Bloomington crowd has been looking forward to this one for some time. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Walker here. Hard to predict this early in the match, but what do you think she needs to do to win here? She's certainly a force, Cole, but you have to remember who she's in the ring with there, too. Neither of these girls are pushovers, that's for sure. Another thing is, she has all the tools to be a great one in this division. We'll see how well she develops from here. Devastation. Four. Guys, Suzuki may be in a bad way here. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. I'm actually a little shocked that this match is as close as it is, especially considering how desperate she's looked of late. Finally gets back in the ring. Talk about using almost every bit of the referee's count. She's got something in mind. In position for a power bomb. And that's not a good place to be, Cole. It's Walker on the defensive now. She's going to need to find a way to move in it early. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? She's on a roll now. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. She is 
is on fire. Can she do it here? Counters that one. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out. Warm up the buses. This one's over. She's going for the cover. And she's toying with her now. This could be it. Perhaps a powerbomb here, Corey. It's got to be over now. She's back in full control now. This should do it right there. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Oh, there's an elbow drop. I wouldn't be at all surprised if she doesn't get up here, guys. Yeah, this might just be the end of the line for her. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. She's taking a while to recover here, guys. At this point, she needs a new game plan. What she's been doing clearly isn't working. Wow, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She slams her down with great force. Two. Looks like she wants Three. to beat her inside the ring. Ooh. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Uh-oh, the kick should end it. Now, she just needs to finish her off. The end may be near. She can end it here. She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. She's looking to make a comeback, but can she get it done? Get out of her way. She ain't playing. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. The kick should end it. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. And this has got to be it. What a way to win a singles match. Here is your winner, Akane Suzuki. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. We have a great match coming up next. It's Paige taking on some tough competition. And that's the reason why Akane Suzuki is a damn good wrestler. I said before, man, an accident was an accident when I created her on 2K18 first. That's why I decided to bring her back in 2K19. Now, Cynthia Walker is not going to be on 2K19. I said before, I'm, even though I created the wrestler... I wanted to stay on, on WCW, and for some reason it matches better because, yeah, you know, hey, I, I do what I want. This match right here is going to be interesting because it's based on a new signing that I put into WCW, Amanda Woods. Never created her. I decided to basically try, I was trying to create some, trying to find a name because I mean I've released a lot of wrestlers. 
And then basically going up against the women's champion in Paige. The last champion was the Lotus. And the Lotus basically ran into a problem. Um, her contract was up, so Paige decided to defect over from WWF to basically WCW, saying that, hey, I want to go after the champion before before something happens, because you never know, the Lotus might take my title and walk out with it. I've, I've seen that done before. So Paige came in, beat the Lotus, Lotus basically got released. She actually walked away, left the company. Now Paige is basically representing the women's division when it comes to the title. Um, she's never faced Amanda Woods, so I'm, I'm, I don't know, I, I like Paige, that's why I decided to put her in WCW, big fan of hers, it's too bad she's not wrestling, um, Amanda Woods, I don't know what she's gonna do in this particular match, this is gonna be her first match, because I just created her, I wanna say two days ago, so, we'll see how it goes. Making her way to the ring from Norwich, England, the WCW Women's Champion, Paige. Look out, here comes Paige. She says this is her house. Let's see if she can prove it here tonight. Yeah, and for me, tonight will go a long way in determining exactly which woman is the most dominant in WWE. Same here, Michael. I'd say it's almost impossible to overstate the importance of this match, especially as it relates to where in the pecking order the winner will end up. And her opponent, from Oak Park, Illinois, Amanda Woods. Big time singles matches on deck here. And Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Byron, I think these women may be caught off guard a bit by this stellar crowd reaction they're receiving here. I don't know why, Michael. It seems like they get one of the biggest reactions each and every week. You'd think they'd be used to it by now. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Well, you can't ask for much more than this, especially given how talented these women are. I promise you guys, this Bloomington crowd has been looking forward to this one for some time. She got her with the drop kick. There's plenty to talk about when dealing with Woods. For those that haven't seen her, what is she going to do here to try and win? When it comes to one-on-one -on -one action, she's among the absolute best the roster has to offer. I don't think there are too many women in the back itching to get in the ring with her. One thing I can say about her is if she does get beat, it won't be because of a lack of preparation or effort. Looks like Paige is starting to slip a bit. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Look at Paige here. Oh. 
and she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Wood's starting to falter some, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Hey, we all know how aggressive she can be inside that ring, and you never know what she might do to get back control of this match. Paige is going for it early, and a kick out. Not even close on that one. She is ready for a fight tonight. Paige is really going to work in there. She counters with a move of her own. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Paige gathering attention in a hurry. Looking for the quick pin. And she kicks out with relative ease. She powered out there, Michael. She is on fire. And it's reversed. And Paige manages to reverse out of that one. Big reversal for her there. She's looking at it. Neckbreaker. She's certainly looking good now, Cole. Paige is in trouble. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. No! She breaks it! Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Not sure Paige should be quite so animated here. Two. And now she's on the offensive. Oh my, what a slam! She's a lady that can crank it up at the drop of a hat. Four. Bringing it back into the ring. With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. Okay, now she's just showing off. Paige with the excellent move to get out. With a page turner. Wow, what she's got the shoulders down. She's calling her out. She might have it. The rampage. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. It could be over here. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that. Kids book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. Up next, we have singles action. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Oh, I cannot wait. Well, that kind of puts a smile on my face when you have a rookie that just started in WCW. Um, after a hard-fought match, she shakes, actually, Paige's hand. I mean, it's a shocker. Uh, of course, you know Paige is already going to be in 2K19. Unfortunately, Amanda Woods is not going to be in 2K19 because, I said it before, I created her 
like two days ago on 2K18 to see what she does. I think she's got potential to actually do something great in WCW. Uh, on to this particular match. We got the WCW television champion in Marlena going up against a former ECW champion in Harley Quinn. Now, I mentioned this. ECW. See, if I did not create this wrestler, how did I find a way to get this wrestler over from one account to another? My point exactly. I created both of these wrestlers. All right. Both of these wrestlers are going to be in 2K19. Uh, I don't know where they signed that because I, don't, I have the notes on I just don't want to basically conflict with 2K19 and 2K18. But they're both going to be in 2K19 because I created them. Marlena basically, I mean, has a really good story. I created her from 2K16, 17, 18, and also putting her in 19. She is a pro wrestler and a barefoot wrestler. She does she did some damage in WEW, former World Heavyweight Champion WEW. Um, she did a couple of things in two, in XPW, but not a whole lot. She also um is a former women's champion in Mayhem, so she has a really good resume too. That's why I and also she's one of my Second main GTA characters I use on Grand Theft Auto. I mean, hey, there's a trend to this. But she's never faced Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is a two-time, I want to say a two-time former ECW World Heavyweight Champion. I want to make sure, double-check that because you never know, I could be wrong. Yes, she is a two-time former ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Her first title reign was 259 days, and her second title reign was 70 days. Who beat her the first time was was Mar uh, Maria Jones, and the second time who beat her man was Jennifer Lee. Jennifer Lee um, is not in WCW, but she she is going to be returning back in 2K19. But other than her sister, Jaden Lee is actually signed to WCW. She looks really good. Basically, all I did was basically uploaded. Jennifer Lee made some changes, and bam, she's basically Jennifer Lee's twin sister. But Jennifer Lee is good, and Jaden Lee is like the evil sister. So going back to Harley Quinn, I decided to bring her into, bring her into WCW because she's a really good singles wrestler. She's also a barefoot, and basically now she's, she's a pro wrestler too. So they never faced each other because, for one, I said before, Marlena was on Mayhem, and basically Harley Quinn was on ECW. So this is the first time they're actually going to face, but in this scenario, in WCW. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, the WCW Television Champion, Marie. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And I'd say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. And her opponent, from Chroma City, Harvey Quinn. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Corey, in terms of raw talent, where do you think these women rank as it relates to the other competitors in the division? Oh, they're right there at the top, Cole. Years from now, I think we're going to look back at these women and realize just how lucky we were to watch them compete. That's how talented they are.
and there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match is going to be one for the ages. You can see the pain on her face after that slam. I wonder what Quinn is thinking at this point in the match. What can our newer viewers expect from this woman? I honestly have no clue how this is going to end, but it's not going to stop me from enjoying every single second of it. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Quinn starting to stall a bit here. This is not how she drew this one up. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. I don't know about you guys, but I did not expect to see her. In... She's got the shoulders down. That's not going to do it. She got the shoulder up. That's all that counts. How about that? She's using her body as a projectile. She delivers a lethal forearm. <laughs> Quinn finds himself in some trouble. At this point, you have to wonder if she can recover from this. She can end it here. And the kick out. Nice kick out there. The reversal hits her with a clothesline from seemingly out of nowhere. Oh, the back that could very well dislocate a vertebrae. Look at her go, dodges that one. What a shot! If you take many more like that, you're going to resemble a heavy bag. She comes up with a slam. Can't waste any time here. She wants to finish this. We know what's coming here. Pile driver spiked him. Game set. It could be over here. This singles contest has a victor. Here is your winner, Mari. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.
We got one-on-one action coming your way next. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. I can't wait. And, see, that's the reason why I decided to um, – both wrestlers did good. I know Marlena was a championship-caliber wrestler. Um, yeah, that Tombstone Power Driver is nasty. And I, I totally forgot – the way that she became the television champion, she had to go through Cordella to basically get the title off of her waist. And I said before, Cordella is no longer signing WCW, even though she's a two-time champion. But she only held the title for a combined total of 46 days. That is not a really good champion, to say the least. So, bye-bye. So, on to this match here. Um... Cassidy Fox, the, hard, the, the the current reigning hardcore champ, is going up against the former United States champion in Piper. Um, Cassidy Fox, accident on 2K17, did very well. She actually uh, was one of the females that actually beat the monster Charlotte Perez. Um, she She's also going to be the focal point of my channel because I've actually, she's, she does very well. Don't let that cuteness fool you. She is tough in the ring. She will freaking, she's a, a good technician. She will break your ankle if she gets the opportunity to take you out. She always targeted that body part. I don't, I don't know why she always, she's like a pit bull when it comes to that. She's a barefoot wrestler. Also, she's a pro wrestler. Um, So, it, I mean, she's got, she's got that multiple tasking thing going on. I mean, she's won titles everywhere she went. Um, she, I think she's the longest reigning hardcore champion in ECW history. Um, held in the title for, I'm looking it up right now, if it let me look it up. She held the title for 396 days. That's a long title reign because no, when, when she won the tournament and basically became the hardcore champion, nobody could beat her. Well, unless you're Sin Callahan. Um, they, I mean, hey, Sin Callahan's a good wrestler. Uh, I, I decided not to bring her back. I decided to just keep her on 2K18. Sin Callahan is not going to be on uh, 2K19. Um, so, um, it's it's basically, you know, um, I mean, Cassidy Fox is good. She's actually signed on three different, no, four different promotions on 2K19. I want to say Ring of Honor, um, FCW, the Sport Championship Wrestling possibly um raw and nxt and I, I haven't confirmed that yet because i haven't did i haven't really did the roster reveal because of the fact that i'm still waiting for the dlc to come out on tuesday so she never faced piper so piper has been been very good she's been getting to people's businesses in wcw piper would not be uh returning on 2k19 because i said before i decided to go in a different direction uh, I created, like, you know, championship caliber wrestlers like Cassidy Fox, like uh, Marlena, like Raven, for instance, um, like Charlotte Perez. So, I mean, Piper is just, it's just going to stay in one company until she find her her mojo. I mean, being a United, former United States champion, it, it says well, but, I mean, at the same time, it she could do better. I mean, she did held that title for, hmm. Wait a minute. Ooh, she wasn't a former United States champion. Oh, no, she's a former Cruiserweight champion. Oh, that's even lower than I thought. Well, she had a title for 70 days, but she's never held the United States title, so I basically better, you know, correct that now. So she's a former Cruiserweight champion. But she, as I said before, it's going to be a good match. I think... There's a trend going on with the, with this champions addition to WCW. You notice that all the champions have been winning. Paige won her chip her, her non-title match. Um, Kanye Suzuki won her non-title match, and also Marlena won her non-title match. Can Cassidy Fox do can continue this non-title match victories against Piper? Making her way to the ring from Northridge, California, the WCW Hardcore Champion, Cassidy Fox. 
We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Corey, is it me, or does she seem even more focused than usual here? It's not you, Cole. She's definitely looking a bit more focused, which is good, because she's going to need to be if she wants to win this one. And her opponent, from St. Petersburg, Russia, Piper. Get ready, guys. Big-time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Some people are saying she's at the top of her game right now. Corey, would you agree with that statement? You know what, Cole? I don't think I've ever been more impressed by her than I am right now. She really has elevated her game to a whole new level in recent weeks. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. I promise you guys, this Bloomington crowd has been looking forward to this one for some time. Let's quickly discuss Fox for a moment. For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. I like what she brings to the table here tonight, Cole, but if I'm being completely honest, this one's just too close to call. Both of these women are so amazing. And I could not agree more. As a superstar in the WWE today, there are plenty of opportunities. We'll just have to see if she can take advantage of them. Piper starting to look a little dazed. But you certainly cannot count her out yet. Watch out. Wow, what a slam. Don't let the beauty fool you. She has power. Got her with the elbow. move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael, but you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Look out. Now Fox might be in some trouble here. Here's what we're going to see what she's made of. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road. An early pin attempt. Come on, how is she still going here? Clearly not enough damage done. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Look at her go. She's in full control now. She comes up big with a reversal. That might have hurt her ego more than anything else. Ah! 
Now Piper seems to have lost a step or two. Her hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. This might be one of the most tightly contested matches I've seen in a long time. Any one of these women can win this thing. She is on fire. If you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Cole. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday evening. Going for it all here. Nice job getting to the ropes. She really had no choice, Cole. It was either get to the ropes or tap. Nope, reverses it. She's got her in her sights. Oh no, we know what this is. I don't know guys, I really thought we would have seen the finisher already. The pressure's on, she's gonna make her tap. Here is your winner, Cassidy Fox. Big win here to start the show. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. It'll be Asuka versus a formidable opponent. Gonna settle the score. Well, what can I say about Cassidy Fox, man? Piper found out the hard way, man, how tough Cassidy Fox is. Hey, she, de she did beat Sarah Warfield to become the hardcore champion. So, I mean, hey, everybody said how Sarah Warfield is the goddess and she's strong and she's five, well, she's six foot, whatever. Psh, I, don't care, I don't care how tall you are. When your ankle man is being targeted the whole time, see it. You're going to tap out. I don't care. I don't care how strong you are. That's how that person lost, and that's how that person, man, got released. Yeah, I said before, man, that name will never be aired, or that wrestler will never be aired on this channel ever again, thanks to Cassidy Fox. All right, on to the next match. We got Oscar versus uh, Jessica Kimberly. Um... Two nerf faced each other. Um, Asuka, basically, of course, you know, she's from WWE. I, she's actually my favorite wrestler uh, currently. Um, I watched her, you know, um, in Shimmer outside of Japan. I watched her, you know, on YouTube and whatever like that. You know, she wrestled men. She's very tough. Longest reigning NXT champion. Um, she's also, um, if you want to talk about in-game, she was on Mayhem, and she actually uh, captured the tag team champions with Kyrie Sane. I did not I did not create her, I downloaded her. Um and I mean and also she won the Cruiserweight champion also in Mayhem. So she's got a good resume. Um uh, she's on WWF. I was like she's not doing anything on that particular brand. I bring her in WCW see what happens. Jessica Kimberly, um created her this year. Um she will be uh, returning on 2K19. I I don't know, there's something about Jessica Kimberly that brought me to recreate her again on 2K19. Um, she definitely has uh, a really good, you know, work ethic when it comes to basically wrestling WCW. Her first match, she actually took, let's see, um, ah, Sofia Garcia to the limit. So, I mean, Sofia Garcia is a good wrestler too, so. 
Uh, I'll see where this match, how this match goes. We, it, it, they don't have any championships by their name. I threw it in there because I think it'll be a really good entertaining match. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Folks, here comes Asuka, one of this generation's true greats, Cole, and I'm talking men's and women's divisions. And guys, these women appear to be in peak physical condition for this one. Well, they'd better be, Cole. Given how hot the women's division is right now, even if you're slightly off your game, you're going to get picked off in an instant. And her opponent, from Seoul, South Korea, Jessica Kimberly. Guys, this one promises to be absolutely amazing. But as they say, promises are made to be broken, Michael. Though in this case, I think we're safe. Well, guys, she certainly has her work cut out for her here tonight. That's for sure. Yeah, but she knew that coming in, Cole. I assure you, she did her homework and knows exactly what to expect from her opposition here. They're struggling for control right now. Putting it all on the line. She's got her where she wants her. She's thinking about it. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. That packed a punch. Nice job by Asuka. She's starting to stagger a bit, but you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. Asuka turns it around. Now uh, going to the top, high risk. She's got that gleam in her eyes. Now Asuka is showing how they do it back in Japan. Incredible! Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. 
crushing force on that elbow drop. Having a tough time getting back up here. As you would expect, given what she's been through here tonight. She is rolling now. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Oh, sliding hip attack. This one is over. today she's going after the face now she got her with the drop kick the shoe might be on the other foot here Oscar's found herself in a bit of trouble where do you see her going from here? Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. Talk about devastation. Asuka turns it around. I think we know what this is. And she lands the slam. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. This is exactly what Asuka was waiting for. This should do it right there. One, two, three. That's it. The match is over. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win. It's hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. And that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it. Get ready because you will not want to miss this. It's Tornado Tag Rules up next. In a match for the record books. I cannot wait. Wow, that was another good match. Uh, I thought Jessica Kimberly was going to beat Asuka, but I don't know how Asuka survived that Spanish fly. But Jessica got caught and walked right into that fisherman buster man, fisherman driver from Asuka and basically won the match. Asuka was like, hey, it was a good match. You put me to, you know, you pushed me to the limit. And she extended her hand, and of course, Jessica basically shaked her hand. She didn't get all pissed off. Like, you know, hey, she made one mistake, you know? It happens. That's why I like Jessica Kimberly. That's why I brought, I'm bringing her back in 19. She just pushed people to the limit. Her win and loss record is not that great, but all I want to also bring something out with Harley Quinn. She actually is a, was a first uh, ECW Global Champion uh, when she won one of the tournaments. I, I, I did not know that until I saw it in my notes. Yeah, so I said before. Yeah, I just totally forgot about that. But uh, let's go on to this uh, tag team match. Who is the be who is the better tag team champion? Um, on your left, you got the Pit Bulls, basically uh, Michelle uh, Marrez. That'd be the Barbarian, and also the Nightmare Jordan Taylor, going up against the women's tag team champions in J uh, Jasmine and Zoe of the Outlaws. Um, I wanted to let you know right now. All four of these ladies are going to be in 2K19. Um, reason being is because they have a really good resume. Um, Jasmine is actually is the sister of Marlena. So, I mean, and also Zoe is the sister of Zoe. I mean, Zoe is the sister of Raven. They're GTA characters that I created. They have, they have won t tag team titles everywhere. They won singles matches. I mean, they just a good tag team and also a part of the faction. Uh, from 2K16, uh, I think, actually, correction, Jasmine wasn't actually in 2K16, I think Zoe was, Jasmine actually started her career in 2K17 in XPW, 
Um, Zoe started her career, man, in WEW in 2K16. So there's a, there's a bigger, a little bit of a time frame there. Um, but they uh, were, I want to say they were, but one of them was signed on ECW. And I think Zoe was signed on ECW. Jasmine was actually signed on Mayhem. Even though they're friends, they're outlaw, part of the outlaw faction, I had to split them up between, you know, three and three. Like put three on one faction that was signed on ECW and one signed on Mayhem. So, but in ECW, now they're all together. All five members of the outlaws are in WCW. That's Raven, Jasmine, uh, Marlena, Zoe... And, um, I can't remember, the, just remember, but, yeah, um, I'm going to the Pit Bulls, um, Pit Bulls have done, has basically just destroyed anybody, man, in WCW, um, created them on 2K18, uh, they won, like, this is a former, uh, heavyweight champion, champion, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, so, I mean, it, it they have a really good resume, I think, they are a two. They're two-time um, world tag team champions. They last time they basically beat somebody was when they went up against the Syndicate, and they have not lost yet. Um, and then going up against basically sort of, well, with the, the Outlaw faction when they first started, they decided to go after Sarah Warfield and American Weston. And after American Weston and uh, Sarah Warfield actually beat Julian and Julian Pride and uh, and Esther Laurent, uh, I guess there was some friction between that particular tag team between with uh you know uh, Warfield and Weston. Jasmine and Zoe took advantage of it and basically beat them for the women's tag team titles after 35 days of them held in. There was it was too much of a conflict of interest, so I released them both. They could sell their differences somewhere else. Now, now, not in WCW. I don't care what they do. So, good luck in their future endeavors. But which tag team is better between the Pit Bulls or the Outlaws? to the ring, the WCW World Tag Team Champions, The Nightmare, Jordan Taylor, and The Barbarian, Michelle Ramirez, The Pitbulls. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. start the night off than with this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow.
All right, it's time to get this match going. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Not seen straight after that crushing stunner. We got a rope break. Let's touch on Ramirez a bit. You've seen her train and compete, so tell us what we can expect from her. Look, this is someone who is no stranger to the WWE limelight, and this is going to be a great match. I do expect her to show her opponent and the rest of the WWE that she's going to be someone to reckon with for a long time to come. She's starting to stagger a bit. She might just be a little overwhelmed by the Tornado Tag Team atmosphere. Her talents inside the ring certainly are commendable, guys. The way she treats people, however, is a completely different story. Look at how high she's getting off the ground. It's like she's floating on air. It's incredible. She's looking at it early. Nice. And there's a kick out at two and a half. That's all right, Cole. No, there's the reversal. Wow, missed by a mile. Had that one well scouted. She's in full control now. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Okay, now she's just showing off. Back in from the floor. Got her with the elbow. And she's back in the ring now. From what we've seen in her tonight, there must be serious injuries. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. And the shoulder's up. Still a lot more fight left. Now that one well scouted. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. Reverses that one. She's got the shoulders down. She has one of the most effective overhands in the game. This is it, guys. She's beginning to take some heat here. She'll need to find a way back on the offensive if she wants to be successful here in this Tornado Tag Team match. I can't help but get the sense that this crowd wants to see her fail here. And hey, that's what happens when you're so disrespectful to your opponent. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She's looking to make a comeback, but can she get it done? She's locked and loaded and taking no prisoners. She is on fire. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match. Over she's back in full control now. She's not looking very good right now, guys. She's got to find a way to get back to her feet. Otherwise, this one's over. Look at her go. Shoulders down. This could be it. She's calling for it. Looking for the exclamation point. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. This one is over. Looking for the win. Flatliner. Somebody call an ambulance. That's all she wrote, fellas. She's licking her chops. 
Here we go. And she's taken down. It's just a matter of time now. That's what this should do it right there. Two. She got her with a reversal. She's looking at it. This could do it. One. That's it. It's over. It's over. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. She's in control now following that slam. And this has got to be it. Oh, somehow. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. I think she's trying to prove a point here. One, two. Wait, are we sure that that wasn't three? I can't believe she kicked out there. And there's the counter. It could be over here. One, two. The pinfall and the victory. Here are your winners, The Nightmare, Jordan Taylor, and The Barbarian, Michelle Ramirez, The Pitbulls. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned. We have a great matchup coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. Wow. Um, I don't, there is no tag team out there that can probably beat the Pit Bulls. The Outlaws is a good tag team. Even though Jasmine and, and, and uh, Zoe, they never team together. Marlena and Zoe, I mean, Marlena and Jasmine always team together. Raven and Zoe, they always team together. But this is the first time I put jo I put uh, Jasmine and, you know, Zoe, you know, in an actual match. And I'm that match could have went either way. Um, That that was a really good match Um, for a tornado tag. On to the main event, champion versus champion. The, the WW, I mean, the WCW. United States champion and the monster Charlotte Perez is going up against the cruiserweight champion of WCW and Sophia Garcia. Um, I don't even know where to start with Charlotte Perez. She has, she has one of the best resumes in an actual wrestling environment. Um, destroyed everybody in XPW. Um, but I mean, if you if you if you haven't followed me with with Charlotte Perez, she's like one of my also focal points of this channel. I created her in 2K17, created her in 2K18, and also you probably saw her on one of my last live streams uh, when she was faced in to sign an Impact Wrestling going after the World Heavyweight Championship. So Charlotte Perez is definitely a good wrestler. Um, the way that she became the United States Champion. Because nobody couldn't really beat uh, Tay Donko Tongo, which she, I mean, here's the thing. I did like that wrestler. Um, I am going to miss that wrestler because Tongo was my favorite wrestler. I mean, she held the title for 250 days. And also, she actually won a tournament in the Florida Championship Wrestling on 2K19. And she became the FCW Southern Hardcore Champion. But it pains me to say this, but I'm going to say it right now in this video. She will no longer be on 2K18 or 19 because I respect the actual wrestler. I don't respect the actual creator. So, just to put that out there.
going to uh, going to basically the, the uh, cruiserweight champion in Sofia Garcia. Sofia Garcia, man, created her on 2K18. Very good wrestler, man, in WCW. She's basically a two-time television champion. Uh, combined, well, first title reign, she beat Sarah Black. And she, her first title reign, she held the title for 245 days. But then she had a little bit of a run-in with uh, Velvet Sky. Then she got a title back, held the title again for, 40, for 84 days. Then she lost it to Cordella. I mean, there's a definitely a chance. There was a if you watched one of that video back in 2018, was, there was a story behind that. I'm not going to get into it with this one. The way that she became the cruiserweight champion, she decided to go targeted a wrestler that uh, was giving me problems, naming Aurori Cellini. And I needed to get rid of her fast. And she had the cruiserweight championship in in her possession. So Sophia Garcia basically, I mean, knocked at my door, walked in, and basically said that I could take care of that champion, that champion for you, and make it a basically um, a stipulation. Loser gets fired in WCW. I was like, whoa, hold up, that's a big risk. But you know, I kind of trust Sophia Garcia to basically get the job done. So I made the match. So basically, the cruiserweight title is on the line between. Aurora Salini versus uh, Sofia Garcia, loser leaves WCW. It was a very close match. Um, there was a mistake in a couple of scenarios, but Garcia got the title from Salini. And basically, Salini is no longer in WCW. Garcia has never faced the monster Charlotte Perez because she's a, a thoroughbred. She's a different type of wrestler. She will destroy anybody that gets in her way. She, ha she has no friends. Now, here's the thing. Now, she has some friends with the Red Faction, with Sarah Graves, Marissa Cooper, and uh, Lori uh, Rodriguez. But the only friend she's got right now is pretty much, not on WCW, but on, on 2K19 with the Predator, Kelly Perez is going to help her out. But she's been a single wrestler, man, all the time, man, in, uh, you know, in uh, 2K18. She's also signed as a barefoot wrestler uh, in... Mayhem, she captured the Intercontinental title, but she lost it, you know, in a, in a, in a triple threat match. So this will be the last match. Uh, after this, I'm going to end the stream and end the video. Um, but if you did like uh, what I what I did in this actual WCW format, you know, comment, you know, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, I said before, if you have any questions about what I'm doing with 2K19 or 2K18, comment. Don't be afraid to comment. I'm not going to... I'm not going to embarrass you. Don't be afraid to comment on my channel, man. I do take criticism very well. So I'm giving you that option to uh, comment, whatever you want to say. Uh, and, I, and I'll answer you the best way I can to fulfill your um, your needs of what you want to see on this channel. So have a good, have a great day. And then uh, hopefully this match will not disappoint. Thank you for watching. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, the WCW United States Champion, the Monster, Charlotte Perez. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Well, when it comes to the women's division, it doesn't get much more exciting than what we have coming up here. Boy, that's the truth. In fact, you can almost feel the anticipation level swell inside the arena as we get closer to the opening bell.
and her opponent from San Juan, Puerto Rico, the WCW Cruiserweight Champion, Sofia Garcia. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. And Byron, what should we be on the lookout for here tonight? Well, needless to say, these women are eager to prove they are the preeminent competitor inside the women's locker room. And with that in mind, I expect to see them use every trick in the book to secure a victory here tonight. This is great to see. Tremendous sportsmanship. Mutual respect for each other. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Well, that rocked her all right. Into the turnbuckles. Let's quickly discuss Perez for a moment. How about it? How is she going to win this tough matchup? When it comes to one-on-one -on -one action, she's among the absolute best the roster has to offer. I don't think there are too many women in the back itching to get in the ring with her. Yeah, all I know is she can definitely make a name for herself tonight if she performs well. There it is. Well done. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. That's like watching someone being manhandled. What force. I see where she's going with this. And no, she wasn't expecting that crossbody. What a shot. That was the perfect strike. That's what you call getting drilled. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She might have it. There's no coming back from that. This could be it for her. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. Now that's how you make a statement. Can't waste it. Looking at it here. There's an ear fall. That's all right, Cole. Not even close. Jeez, that was embarrassing. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? counter Garcia looking a little startled right now she doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball you know I've heard people insinuate that loyalty would get you nowhere in the WWE but it sure looks like she's crushing that theory doesn't it look at her go she's looking at it she comes up with a slam that might be enough Some good technique right there. Not so fast. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Perez looks like he's really struggling under the... It could be over here. One, two, three. There's the pinfall. And the victory.
Here is your winner, Sofia Garcia. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.